Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my luxury handbag collection. You guys know I took a little bit of time off over the holidays to just be with the family and haven't made any vid videos. So I figured when I came back, I would come back with a bang. This is definitely my most requested video throughout the year, but I do only do them once a year. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed, as well as that notification bell so that anything that I add to my collection, you will not miss throughout the year as well. Um, I do have three handbags on the way. One has already arrived, so you will be seeing some new like unboxings and haul videos coming up soon, but I wanted to show you guys what I truly started off this year, or I guess I should say ended 2018 with. So here is my current handbag collection. I usually like to start these videos out from smallest to the biggest, so I always like to mention these pouches that come with the Neverfull. This is the size that actually comes with the MM size as well as the GM size, and even though some people use them as SLGs, I actually use these as wristlets. They're perfect to take to the gym, they're perfect for like just date nights or something like that where you want to be very, very minimal if you're going to a concert, if you're going to the rodeo or something like that. I love these. I do have a video on what fits inside. I know they look so thin, like what can you really fit? Everything you could possibly need to take out the door to go to, like I said, go to the grocery store, go to the gym. Everything fits. Your keys, your cell phone, some money, a lip gloss, everything fits. Watch that video. It's an old one, but I highly, highly recommend those little pouches. Even if you don't get a never full, you can order those pouches pre-loved. I'll link some down below. I also wanted to mention the Gucci Ophidia pouch. Um, I love this as, again, another clutch. This is great for date nights. Um, you can definitely use it as like a pouch inside your handbag. This is so fun. I talked about a little bit about this in the unboxing video that I did, how it just feels like something that you may have been given from your grandmother or an aunt or something like that. I just think it's really, really cool looking um, and vintage vibe. So I feel like this is going to be just such a great piece to have in my collection forever. And this obviously fits a ton because it's much larger than the Neverfull pouches. Um, I actually can fit my entire vlogging camera with the vlogging like handheld stick on the camera. It's kind of crazy what this fits, but I just think this is so fun. And the last pouch that I want to show you guys is this one. This one is from GG New York. I do have an A on it. Again, a great little date night pouch or something. It's pretty large. You could also use this one for travel. I love the tassel. I think it's so fun. The like embossed print. Um, again, it fits a ton. So perfect for date night. You can put it underneath your shoulder or underneath your arm. You can just kind of hold it you know, it's just such a like elegant piece. They come in a ton of colors. I want to say they come in multiple sizes, but I'll make sure to link everything down below. But this is really, really cute as well. The next handbag that I want to mention is this one by Furla. I really do think this bag is such a beautiful bag. And at the price point, to me, it's just such a great piece. The quality is beautiful. I love the lining. Um, I do really love the size. Again, it fits all of your essentials. Perfect for date night, but great as a crossbody. I love the the chain strap. It's so comfortable. Um, it's like a really nice light gold, which I love. The um, clasp in the front reminds me of the Pochette Matisse, which you guys know I'm a really big fan of as well. You can see on the inside, it fits everything that you need. So again, your phone, your keys, some money, credit cards, a lip gloss, things like that. It's really just perfect, again, for date night or super, super casual days. Honestly, this one is really, really versatile. But either way, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. If you're looking for something that looks more designer at a really nice price, this one is definitely the way to go. And the next mini bag that I want to mention is my Gucci Marmont. This is the super mini size. I really really, really fell in love with this bag. It's tiny, but again, it fits everything that you could possibly need. You would be surprised also how versatile this is. When I share this on social media, like Instagram and stuff, you guys love it. Um, the Mormont just in general has been insanely popular over the last like year or two, actually longer than that. Uh, but I kind of waited to to dip into the Marmont, um, but I'm so glad that I did. And I'm glad that I went this size and I'm glad that I went this price point as well. And I'm really, really enjoying this bag. And of course, the next bag is my Chanel mini in the square size. This is the black caviar with gold hardware. 
I love this piece. This is definitely a forever piece in my collection. Um, this is my only Chanel handbag, guys. I do get asked quite often to share, like my my sh like to share my Chanel collection. This is it. Other than like uh, shoes and you know things like that, um, this is my only Chanel handbag, and I love it. I will definitely keep this bag forever. I mean, unless there's like extreme circumstances, um, but I really love this bag. Again, really really tiny bag, but I love the smaller bags. I really do. It fits everything that you really really need. I do have a what's in my bag for this, so make sure to check that out on my on my channel if you want. I love this piece. Um, again, very versatile, so you can definitely wear this a lot dressier, but you can also wear it very casual as well. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram because one of the things that I really like to do is show how you can um, dress down these kind of bags. A lot of people think of Chanel flat bags as a dressier bag and I very much dress down my dressier bags. But I love this piece. I just think it's such a beautiful piece. Classic and I plan on keeping it forever. The next handbag that I want to show you guys is this one by YSL. Um, this is the medium, Kate, medium, I believe. I'll link it down below if I am saying it wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the medium size. I do get a lot of people that forget I have this bag or don't know that I have this bag because I really don't wear it that often. I know that I do not. Um, I've only honestly worn it maybe twice. I know that's probably pretty bad. And even the two times I wore it, it was for very, very short days. Um, but I do think this is a beautiful bag for special occasions, so weddings, something like that. I just think it's such a beautiful beautiful, beautiful bag. I am kind of at this point where I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this bag and just know that it's there for special occasions. Not that you can't dress it down, because uh, you can. Again, I've done that before. I've actually worn this with like a plaid shirt before and it looked really, really cute. Um, but I just don't reach for it because I do have other options for both casual and as dress and dressy. There's something um, classic about it. It just there's just something I love about it. I don't know. I just love just the logo. I just really, really love the bag. I love the gold hardware. I love the color, of course. Um, it is a little bit bigger, but because of how structured it is and because of how the sides go in, you really can't fit much more in here than you can some of the bags that I just showed you guys. See how deep it goes in on the sides? So it takes up a lot of the room because of that. So it's kind of deceiving that it's bigger because it's not really a whole lot bigger. Another crossbody bag is this one by Chloe, and this is one of those bags that I purchased knowing that is a little bit more on the trendy side, but I still really, really enjoy it. It has such a unique look that I love that when I wear it, it really does add like a little style element to an outfit. I just feel like it's just there's just something about it the the gold detail the ring there's just something really fun and cool about it I do love that you can definitely wear it like this as kind of like a bracelet bag um, for dressier occasions but then of course you have the strap on the inside to wear it more as a crossbody bag um, it fits again about the same as all the other bags that I've shown you so all of your essentials it fits perfectly I'm I cannot remember if I have a what's in my bag um, for this bag but if you have any requests for anything that I show you guys, make sure to put it down in the comments below and I'll do my best to do that. But I love this bag. I definitely don't see getting rid of it anytime soon because like I said, I definitely reach for it. And whenever I notice that my outfit is either really, really plain or just needs a little something, this bag gives it that little oomph that it needs. The next handbag that I want to mention is definitely not designer. I want to say it was like 60 bucks or 65 bucks or something. This is such a fun bag to have in the spring and the summer. Um, it's just a round like grass bag. Um, it's just so fun though. It's perfect with like spring and summer dresses. I just love having this perfect for the beach. It's great whenever if you do go to the beach a lot and you're dealing with sand, you don't want to take your nicer designer bag. Something like this not only is going to be so cute um, with whatever you're wearing or if you're going on vacation or something like that but um, it, it's so cute but you also don't have to worry about it if it gets dirty or sandy or anything like that it's so cute um, so I definitely love this and even though it's not designer or luxury I love it just as much as my other bags and obviously it's one of my handbags so I wanted to mention it um, but I will for sure link this one down below they might even have some on special because I bought this one last spring or summer I can't remember so maybe I can find some on sale since it's like off season right now because this is great to have for spring and summer. So the last of the really really little bags that I want to mention is one of my newest handbags. If not, maybe this is my newest handbag. I really can't remember. This is my Louis Vuitton Petite Mal. I love this 
bag. This was kind of like a dream purchase for me. I never thought that I would own this bag. I never even really like put it on a wish list because it just felt like not realistic to even wish for it, much less actually purchase it. Um, just the way that it worked out was kind of perfect. I love this handbag. Um, it does also get a lot of attention when I share it on social media. It, there's just something about it that's so classic. Um, I love the everything. Everything about it is so beautiful. I wear it crossbody. I don't ever wear wear it like this as a clutch to me it's kind of scary because I worry about dropping it um, so I definitely wear it like as a crossbody bag or on the shoulder or something like that with the strap it's just such a beautiful bag again it fits all of the essentials which is perfect if it's my keys my cell phone a lip gloss a little bit of money or a credit card something like that so it's perfect and to me there's just something so chic about it so timeless and I just feel like this really really has upped my game as far as my handbag collection and I'm not sure that I'll ever get anything better than this. I just I love it so much and I really just still to this day admire its beauty, admire what it stands for, admire the quality and I'm so proud to own this handbag. The next handbag that I want to mention really needs no introduction. It is definitely one of the most popular bags that I own. Every single time I share it on social media, I it's like becomes a whole discussion. I know. I love this bag. I hope that I don't have to get rid of it for like the recall or whatever you want to call it that's going on right now. This bag has had a ton of issues for many, many, many years. Let's be really honest. With that said, it still is just as popular today with all of the issues that it's had and is having, which is really such a bummer, but I totally get it because I love this bag. Um, I really, really love this bag, and I hope that I don't have to, um, like, give it back to them or anything like that. And the reason why I say that is because I haven't actually taken mine up to the store to be inspected. Um, nothing is really standing out to me as far as the issue goes, but uh, I also had mine reglazed a couple of years ago, so that might be why. Either way, I will eventually take it up to the store, have her check it out, and, you know, I'll, I'll see there. But it would be a really, really tough decision for me because I do love this bag and I wouldn't want to get anything else to replace it. I don't feel like there's really anything comparable. I don't want the reverse monogram. I really like the classic one. Um, so we will see. But I love, love this bag. This one is kind of a step up compared to the ones that I just showed you as far as what fits inside. It's bigger. It has more space. You can fit more of like your full size things. Um, I love the size of it. I love the versatility of it. it crossbody. It's so comfortable. It's just such a great bag. And it's more than just like a plain crossbody. There's something about it that just gives like a little style, a little vibe it's like effortlessly cool so I love it and I highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it the next handbag that I want to mention is this one this is the maestro bag in the mini size I love how versatile this bag is so you can wear it on the shoulder you can wear it crossbody you can wear it as a backpack it's really fun this is in Ooh, storm gray or something like that. I'll link it down below. It's still available. I love just all the color choices in it. Um, I am actually going to be adding, and that was kind of one of the things I've really been thinking about. I get asked all of the time, like, what's on my wish list? What bags am I adding next to my collection? And I want to start adding more of like this mid-range luxury uh, this this price range into my collection. I feel like I have an amazing classic luxury handbag collection and base. And so I really want to have a little bit more fun this year with bags around this price range, like under a $1,000, um, and have more fun with them and share with you guys ways that you can buy bags. You don't have to spend $2,000 on a handbag to look chic, to look classic to look elegant um, and I want to show you guys that this this year that is what actually what I'm going to be working on this year is is adding more handbags to my collection in this price range so I'm really glad that I came across this brand in general um, I think this bag is great it fits everything that you need I have a video on it if you want to check it out it's a beautiful beautiful handbag the lining is great the quality of the leather is great it is Italian made and um, it's just a beautiful beautiful handbag and I highly recommend it it does come in three sizes this is the smallest they have the mini they have the midi and then they have like the regular size um, and then like I said a ton 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 of colors but it's such a fun bag right now I have it set up for a backpack so you can see you can definitely wear it as a backpack 
I just think it's such a great bag and I'm just kind of in love with the brand in general. A crossbody bag that I don't really wear that much, not because I don't love it, because I do. I just for some reason don't reach for it that much and I have it in a different spot in my closet. So honestly, sometimes I forget that I own it and then when I see it, I'm like, oh my goodness, I love it. Like, I just love this bag. It's so like slouchy and casual and comfortable looking. I just... The size is perfect if it's everything. Um, this is the Evelyn in the PM size. Um, I went for the PM. It fits everything and some. Um, it just, I just didn't feel that I needed the larger size, but both sizes are beautiful. They even have like the smaller size, which is so, so cute. I've kind of thought about getting one this past year. I didn't, as you see, um, but I do love this bag. I'm obsessed with the, this gold color. It's so beautiful. I love the squishy leather. Um, I do stuff mine with air paper just to kind of hopefully keep its shape while it's kind of laying on my lady. Um, but I love this bag. It's such a great piece. The quality is amazing, and if you are looking to get something Hermes and you don't like your budget ain't uh, isn't in the Birkin range, the Kelly range, this is beautiful. The like I said, the craftsmanship is beautiful. The whole history behind this piece, the history behind the brand, I'm just so glad that I have this in my collection. I love the color. I feel like it goes with everything. So I just I love love this bag. And the last of my crossbody handbags is my Speedy B in the 25 size. So you guys know, especially if you are a like OG follower, that I really never thought I would get a Speedy Bandolier. I have been a classic Speedy girl for as long as I can remember. And I just decided to purchase this one and I love, love, love it. I really feel hard for this bag. It is such a great versatile piece. I don't, do not get me wrong. I still love my classic speedies and there will always be something about a classic speedy that just has my heart. If you are in a place where you cannot or do not want to have both, then I would say this is such a great bag. It's a great mom bag. It's a great weekend bag. I just love it. So my preference is I prefer the Speedy Bandolier in the 25 size. It's a great weekend bag. It's a great everyday casual bag. My only gripe about the 25 size is how small the opening is. Um, so it does make it difficult if you carry like a larger wallet or a larger, like a larger toiletry bag those items are going to scrape against the, the the zipper. So that's my only complaint. With that said, if you if you carry like a smaller wallet, you don't carry a bunch of, you know, larger pieces. I do. I have the toiletry 19. I've got my full size zippy wallet. And so I don't always carry every, like all of that when I use this bag. Sometimes I do because it can fit in here for sure. Um, but if I were doing that every day, that's going to put wear on those pieces as well as your zipper just to kind of keep that in mind. But I love this piece. It's so cute on um, and just really versatile. Size-wise, it fits everything. Once you get it past that zipper, there's so much, so much space in here. Um, but I love the red lining, of course, with the Abine. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I'm just really, really glad I decided to give this one a try because I really fell in love with it. Next, I want to go into my top handle bags. And the first one that I want to mention is this one. Totally not designer. I want to say this was like $30. $40, $40, but I fell in love with it last year as well. Um, I really cannot believe how much you guys also love this bag. I highly recommend this again for spring and summer. It's so, so cute with for vacation, with the cutest dresses, with rompers. I just love this. Again, $30, $40. They do have a designer version that's, I think, around a couple hundred dollars, $400. I, I don't remember. Um, and I just buy this one buy this one. Definitely recommend buying this one. It's so cute. And at this price point, honestly, why not? The next handbag, or maybe I should say handbags, I want to mention are my classic speedies in the 30 size. So I have the classic monogram, which I love. I really am just in love with the classic 30 size. If you're going to go for the classic not bandolier, I highly recommend the 30. The size is great. It sags really beautiful. Um, the opening is perfect. It fits everything you could possibly need and some. The size really is perfection. Um, I also have it in a bean, of course. I did add a clochette to my bean one, so you can get that from your essay, just like the bandolier. I love the red lining. And then 
The last one that I added to my collection was the Azure, and then I did add a luggage tag, and this is the 50 size luggage tag, I think, and then I did have it hot stamped. I really don't wear this one that often, as you can see. Um, probably out of the three, my most, well, no, not probably, definitely out of the three, my most used one is the Abine, just because it's so worry-free, but I'm glad that I have all three. I will never get rid of them again unless it's for extreme circumstances, but I definitely am, like I said before, and I probably always will be like a classic speedy girl, so these are going nowhere. I love them. Even if I don't reach for them that much, they're just, to me, classic staples in my collection, and I will never get rid of them. I just love them so, so much. Highly, highly recommend. If you're looking for a top handle bag, this is my favorite. I am so glad that I was able to add this brand to my collection. I love this. This is the large size of the Lady Dior. I did buy it pre-loved and I'm really glad that I did. In my opinion, the price point, especially for what I paid for it, I just think I got a really, really good price. This also has a beautiful red interior. I do have air paper in mind. The size is perfect. It's just such a classic, chic, lady-like bag. There's just something about it when I wear it. There's something so timeless and classic and chic about it. I highly, highly recommend this one, especially pre-loved. I'll find some good ones and put them down below for you guys. Um, I also have had a, quite a few people ask about the sizing. This is the large, like I said, which I actually think fits everything. The medium, in my opinion, which I know is more of like the classic size, um, I just didn't fit as much, in my opinion. I just kind of felt like if I was going to get it, I wanted to get the large. Not that I would never consider getting the medium, because I do think it's beautiful, but I love the like proportions of this one. One. It's just, it's a beautiful bag. Timeless, and I definitely don't see ever getting rid of this bag. Now, this bag has been a major game changer in my collection, in my wardrobe this year. I am so glad that I purchased it. It has been on multiple favorites lists. I just love this bag. I do get asked about this bag quite often. I highly 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 recommend it this is the small size which is not small at all if it's everything that you could possibly need it does come with the strap but i don't ever wear the strap on mine um not even just for display even though i do think it's cute i just wear it like this i prefer to ca carry like these style of bags either in my hand or on the crook of my arm it's just that's just what i prefer um the color is stunning um, i definitely see adding more like full size bags in this color in my collection this year because because I wore this bag so much this last year since I purchased it that I would love to have at least one more option in this size range to reach for just so that I'm just not always wearing this one. Um, but if you were one of the ones that asked about this bag and you haven't seen any of my other videos where I talked about it, go for it. I love it. I'm so glad that I purchased this one. Another bag that I get asked about a lot is this one. This is the Sac de Jour, also in the small size. Um, I do get asked about this one versus the Prada. They are very, very similar, but I love that I have them in two completely different colors, and I do think that the silhouettes are different. This one is a little bit more structured, in my opinion, and a little bit more professional, in my opinion, um, but I do love this bag. It's very, like, Birkin-esque, which you guys know I'm obsessed with the silhouette of the Birkin, um, but I just, that price point is just, like, woo, like, crazy to me, so I don't know, but I love this bag. It's very beautiful. I love that it has different details than the Prada. So like the side detail, just in general, I think it, I love that it has different details, but it gives a very similar vibe because that's like my favorite style of bag, I think. Um, so yes, I love this bag. I definitely recommend it if you're going for um, this. I especially love it in like this shade. There's a gray shade that's beautiful, but honestly, I, I don't think there's one color that this bag has come out in that I haven't loved it. Um, again, it also does come with the strap, which is in there and I don't wear that either. Same with the Prada. Um, I just prefer to have this one handheld as well, but I love this. I love the color. It's just so stunning. Another handbag that has gotten a lot of attention since I purchased it is this one by Celine. This is the micro size in the color Cole and I get so many like comments about the color of this bag. It's very unique, but it's also like a good neutral. So this is the coal color. So it's definitely a gray, but it has a touch of blue. Um, so it just kind of lends, like depending on what I'm wearing, depending on the lighting, it definitely can look a little bit different, which I love. The color is stunning. 
stunning stunning I love that it has the gold like antique gold accents and I really really wanted to add a luggage to my collection I really wanted to add it pre-loved if I'm being really honest I just didn't want to spend the money for a new one but I also was looking for a color a gray color or a, a beige or tan or cream or something like that color um, that I just fell in love with and when I saw this color come become available I had to buy it so I did buy this one new from the store and I'm really really glad that I did I get offers from people to buy this bag all the time I'm not interested in selling it right now I don't know what the future holds maybe one day but right now it's not going anywhere speaking of not going anywhere this is another one of those bags that I truly feel like I will be 80 years old taking this bag to bingo filled with my stampers inside like I just love this bag there is something about the Alma shape that is so chic so ladylike that I, I just love it I will never get rid of this bag I actually did own all three sizes I owned the PM size I owned the BB size and then of course this is the MM size um, I did end up selling the other two and that wasn't necessarily well so the size but also I feel like I should have bought a different color or like material pattern and this one was kind of like my perfect like you know perfect everything about it so the side this was a better size for me I'm glad that I got it in the a bean also has the red interior which again I'm just obsessed with obsessed um, this size is such a great everyday size as far as what it fits it does get heavy I will be honest but I love this in a professional environment. It fits everything that you could possibly need and you just look like a boss babe carrying it. You really, really do look like a boss babe. But again, there's also something about it that I could see myself when I'm 80 years old and gray silver hair, taking this to bingo, looking chic with my little scarf and all that stuff and just looking cute with my Alma Louis Vuitton bag. It's just never going out of style. And like I said, there's just something so ladylike about it. I feel like it's like a piece of art. It's just stunning and I love it and I'm so glad that I have it and this one definitely isn't going anywhere and this last top handle handbag is also by Louis Vuitton as you can see this is the saw plot or the sack plot I'm not French guys um, but I love this bag I do not utilize this as a handbag though you totally totally could I actually use this as my laptop bag it fits my laptop my planner if it's everything in here that you could possibly need I did buy this on the pre-loved market I got a pretty good deal I paid under a thousand dollars honestly I, can't, I think like 800 bucks or something like that you can see the interior is in great shape you can put um, like pens or business cards here and like some you know papers or whatever in there it's perfect if it's everything that I need as far as a laptop bag um, I'm just really happy that I found one in such great condition at such a great price you can see the corners are perfect the bottom is great um, I love this bag I fell in love with this bag many years ago and it just kind of sat there in my mind for a while and um, I was reintroduced to it again I don't know maybe like two years ago a year ago I don't even really remember from Instagram and it just kind of refreshed my memory that I would love to add this to my collection one day and I really honestly at the time I wasn't sure how just because the shape is very unique and I just wasn't sure how practical it would be as a handbag but there was something about the silhouette that I knew that I really wanted it um, so I kind of went on the hunt for it and not really the hunt I just kept my eye out you know I just kept my eye out and when I found one I knew that I had to buy it especially at the price point the condition that it was in and when it came home um, it just made sense for it to be my laptop bag and I will admit it's not the most comfortable for laptop bags but if you um, are just going to a meeting you know and you know from your car to the to the meeting and then from the meeting back to your car or whatever it is it's it's fine um, but I will say you look you look pretty boss carrying this as a laptop bag, that's for sure. So I love this, and I'm really glad that I did find one in such a great condition. Now I want to go into my tote bags, and the first one that I want to mention is this one by Longchamp. This is their, I believe, large size La Pliage bag. This is such a great tote period. 
I don't care if you are used to spending thousands of dollars on totes or you're really on a budget and you want something a little bit nicer but not a lot of money. This is a good one. I am so glad that I bought this a lot. You guys kept recommending the brand to me in general. And so I would look and I would look again. I would look and then I fell in love with this color. I fell in love with this color combo. These two together to me is just stunning. Um, I love it. And I decided to take the plunge. I purchased this handbag and I just really fell in love with the brand in general. It's such a great everyday bag. You could totally use this as a diaper bag. You could totally use this as a gym bag. You can totally use this as a travel bag. Whatever it is that your heart desires, it's just such a great bag, especially at the price point. It's worry-free. It really, really is. You can get it in multiple colors if you want, um, but I really just kind of fell in love with this colorway, and it's great. I would compare it to the Neverfull MM um, as far as size, so it's literally fits everything you possibly need and I highly recommend this. The price point is great. The quality is great, especially for the price point. It's just such a great tote to have. The next tote is actually the bag that I'm wearing today. So you can see it's got all my stuff in it. This is the Goyard St. Louis in the GM size. It is very reminiscent of a Neverfull. I do get asked about this bag compared to a Neverfull. It comes with this little pouch as well. Um, and which one I recommend. I definitely still recommend the Neverfull for many, many reasons. If you guys want me to do a comparison video, let me know down below. Um, but I'm still glad that I bought this bag for, again, many, many reasons. But I also have found some issues, a few. Um, so I don't know. I think for me, especially because I really do enjoy luxury, I definitely enjoy trying out new brands. This is one of those brands that um, we don't have a store here in Houston, much less in Texas, I believe. I ordered this from the Miami store, I want to say, somewhere in Florida. I want to say it was Miami. Um, so yes, I had to order it over the phone. They shipped it to my house, all that jazz. Um, and I'm glad that I bought it, even though I've had some issues with it. Um, let me let me know down below if you guys want a video on this bag, maybe comparing it to the Neverfull. I could definitely do that. I actually meant to do that last year and I didn't. Sorry. But yes, I have this. It's fun. It gives a very casual vibe. A lot of people don't know the brand, which is kind of cool. But then people that do know the brand also, you know, it grabs their attention as well, which is also really cool. So yeah, you don't see this brand a whole lot, which I think is fun. And some people totally hate it, which is fine. I didn't, I bought, you know, I wanted to try it out and I'm glad that I, I have it and I love that it is unique. And the last tote bag I want to mention, or tote bags I want to mention, are my Neverfull. So I do have the Neverfull in the MM size in the Abine, which was my first Neverfull. I do have a luggage tag, same size, the 50 with a embossed A in it. Um, I love this bag for so many reasons. It's such a great, like, just everyday tote bag. It fits everything you need. I love the interior. The size is great. It's really easy, really effortless. I use this a lot and it's also very worry-free. And then of course I have my two GMs. As you can see, my Azure is one is my newer one. It the handles are still pretty stiff because I don't wear this one that much. Um, this one is my go-to of all of my Neverfulls. I just love the GM size. I made a video a long, long long time ago. The quality is horrible. I think I was using my iPhone 5 or iPhone 6. Um, so the quality is horrible. Probably the audio is horrible, but my thoughts are still the same. I can definitely do a new one if you guys want me to. Let me know down below. I can do an updated one. It'd probably be very similar, but at least the quality would be better. Let me know down below if you guys want me to versus the GM versus the AMM, especially for somebody like short like me. I'm five foot one, five foot two, um, and I love the GM. I definitely don't think that you got to be tall to get the GM. To me, it's about the look. It's about the vibe. It's about just the look of the bag. It's not about the size. I don't put any more in my GM. Um, and when I'm carrying it as an everyday bag, as I do my MM, to me, it's again about the vibe. And then of course my Azure, I don't reach for this one that much, but I wanted the trifecta just like I wanted the trifecta of these classic Speedy 30. I wanted the trifecta of the Neverfulls. I'm glad that I have it. Even though I don't reach for this one that much, I will reach for it more in the spring and summer because it's just, it's a great spring summer like tote for sure. The next bag that I want to show you guys is also a bag that I do not ever see getting rid of. And this is my Mosery backpack in the GM size. I love this bag. This is another one of those bags that is a great mom bag. It's a great like 
take to the zoo bag, take to if you're going on vacation with the family bag. It's a great diaper bag because it's not necessary. It's unisex for sure. I definitely think women or men could wear this. Um, it definitely isn't completely worry free because of the bottom. So I like to just keep it on my back. You know, when I'm carrying it, just wear it like a backpack whenever um, I go anywhere and I don't have to worry about setting it down. Um, but the size is great. The size of the front pocket is great. It's just a great bag overall. I actually did own the MM size, which made me realize that I love a backpack just in general, but I knew I wanted a bigger backpack. So I ended up getting the GM size and then later on decided that I would never reach for the MM anymore. So I sold the MM, kept the GM, and I definitely don't see ever getting rid of this bag. The last two bags that I want to mention are actually not handbags, but I really don't know what other video that I would mention them in because they're not an SLG. If I were to do an SLG collection, by the way, do you want me to do an SLG collection? Let me know down below. Um, but I just feel like kind of makes sense for them to go here and that is um, the first one is this one by Longchamp so this is a travel bag this opens up and it expands which is so nice and convenient like I said I really just fell in love with the brand so I did decide to add this after I bought the the La Pliage tote I love the color just so much about this I really fell in love with if you're looking for a travel bag you want to still look chic and kind of have that luxury feel and the luxury vibe but you don't want to spend a ton of money I definitely recommend this one. I love that it's expandable. So this is like a pretty normal practical size, but then you can unzip it and it opens up and adds a ton more room. Comes in a lot of colors. It's great. It's practical. It comes with a strap as well. Um, so highly, highly recommend this as well. And the last bag that I want to mention is my keep all in the 45 size. I have taken really good care of this bag. I'm pretty picky about where I take it with me and things like that. I love this size. I have owned the 50 in the past and I just really prefer this size, not only for the weight whenever you're actually carrying it. The 50 could get a little bit overwhelming as far as it hurting my shoulder. And this one, I really don't have that problem. The amount that it fits in my opinion is not only perfect and practical, but it's not as heavy on your shoulder. So I really do like this size. So that is it guys. That is my entire handbag collection, luxury and non-luxury. I do see me making kind of a change this year as in regards to adding more like a middle range luxury to my collection. Um, I'd love to know if there are any brands that you guys recommend for me. I, like I said, I really feel like I have a nice base luxury classic collection. So I feel like this year, I'm not saying I won't add any luxury handbags to my collection because I do have one on its way, but I want to add more of that mid-range luxury to my collection to have a little bit more fun. Yes, you're still going to see me adding some luxury pieces to my collection throughout the year, but you're also going to see me adding new, more affordable pieces that are still luxury, that still feel luxury, that the quality is still amazing. But that's kind of the plan for this year. I really thought about that towards the end of last year and trying to making the decision because I do get asked all the time what I will be adding to my collection or what's next on my list. And it's been really difficult to answer that that honestly recently because I've been so happy with my collection and towards the end of the year I really started thinking that I wanted to have a little bit more fun um, expand to the mid-range um, category in my collection so that's what I'm going to be doing this year and I'm actually really excited about that so I'd love to know if there is a brand that you recommend in that under a thousand price range let me know down below um, I will of course link everything down below that I mentioned in this video thank you guys so much for watching it's been a long one I know don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new that notification button and I will see you guys in my next video talk to you soon bye bye I hear you breathe, but I can't see If you're right here next to me Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done?